Hey and welcome to Rickstar Toys. In this video we're looking at the super duper double looper with upside down jump. This set came out in 1991. It has one of the neatest ideas that Tyco ever came up with. The upside down jump. We've tested it out with cars that did not come with this set. And we were able to get it to work. It's just hard getting it to work consistently with the non-Magnum 440X2 cars. But I do have one I haven't opened so I think I'm going to try it out in this vid video this vid this video the Magnum 440 X2 Super Duper Double Looper Nissan 300 ZX Tyco made so many neat little cars I know for a lot of people it's just kind of like a cheap toy but I think they had some really good ideas so this is my old beat up box of this set we set it up had to make a few track substitutions had to buy some extra parts but I'll go over how the track is set up it does not come with the Bachman train we were running Thomas the tank engine in here when we did a live stream over on trains are fun when we were testing this out but I'll give you an overview of the track and then we'll show you it working. all right so this actually is not the start track that came with it it's the same nine inch piece of track but the one that came with this set did not work it's too corroded I didn't feel like cleaning it up so I got another one then it goes over here there is a special track that is joined by two pieces in the middle so this is all one track right here it's designed to hold the loop and conduct the electricity across because when you have a gap of course electricity can't go so they do it right here so it goes up and then it hits this this part and basically that part there is no uh, conductor rails there so it's just coasting by then and then over here it comes and then it's a little wider there and there to catch it, it slides down and then picks up power again it goes around and you can have the super duper double looper uh, there's also another cliffhanger one that has the red but they didn't make a lot of them but I like the split track here I'd love to get some more of the single lanes because they have curves and straights, so if you got a bunch of those, you could actually do some pretty neat things with that. And it's got the uh, so the two single loops there, and then they join back together there. Goes around. I love that they designed it where it comes through like that, so it's pretty cool. Now let's show you it working with a non Magnum 440 X2. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do it with Lightning McQueen here. See how it goes and hold the camera at the same time. Hey, I did it. I did Oh, I didn't have enough speed to go up the other loop. <laughs> That's the challenge of this yeah. thing. Ah, didn't make it. So this is the problem we were having with the other slot cars. They might make it around a couple of times, but then 
then he changed that tracks that time. Let's go on the other side there. Oh, me crash. All right. So I had some other cars that worked pretty good. Uh, this Jurassic Park car, truck, or Jeep, or whatever, it worked pretty good. And it just fell off the table. We were talking in our live stream that it probably would have been easier um, to do this on the carpet because what happens is when you're reaching around, the stuff just, it's real, it slides a lot on the slick table. So it might be easier to have more traction on the carpet. I know a lot of times it, some things you're not supposed to play on the carpet, but I think it'd be better. Plus, it's falling off of this table is not too good. Hey, I made it. Oh. Hey, 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 I did it. Three times. Three times I made it. And four times I crashed. So that's that's about the best you can do with it. Um, it's pretty neat still, though. you got to try at least once with Lightning McQueen. But you got to make it. Nope. So when I first set it up, everything was uh, good, and then when, with it moving and pulling on the track and reaching across it, the alignment got messed up. So sometimes the cars were going off to the side too much, and that's why they wouldn't go. But what we need to do is try it with the Super Duper Double Looper Nissan 300ZX. The only way I could afford a Nissan 300ZX is get a Taito version. All right, I got it out of there. This is the 300ZX, brand new, out of the box. What year did this one come out? 1991, the same year. So there were other super duper double looper tracks, but they didn't have the up, upside down. They had things like that. There were some that actually, they went upside down, uh, kind of like the cliffhangers that they did. So let's see how this one does. I'll put it on the track now. I think it's this transform. This is, this is... The first run. I've not tested it. Anything. So let's see how it does. Probably do the same as the others. Oh, it worked the first time right out of the box. Oh, oh it's working so much better. And then it crashed on the third one. That's pretty good. So it shows you, it helps if you have the right car. So what we need to do is get some more of these there's a lot of ebay sellers that have bulk lots of these they're usually about 30 bucks a car which is a lot for these old cars but i'd rather buy one new and get it out of the package and you know ruin my package and know that it's going to be brand new and sealed and some of these used ones because you end up having problems because you see what how the abuse that we've given them with them falling off the tables and stuff oh, that's great oh it worked so Worked a little better than the other one. Let's try it on the other track. This other track's a little off, off center. So let's see if I can make it on this one. Oh, no, I gotta use the other controller. Here we go. Nope, he didn't make it. So that one's. I gotta get the alignment right again. But that is the super duper double looper. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more slot cars and trains, we'll do them here. Also on Trains Are Fun. This, uh, a lot of kids enjoy Trains Are Fun. I try to go in a little more detail here on Briggs Are Toys. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Enjoy some scenes of our slot cars and their fails in testing this out.
Bye.